First, let's make sure the plugin is loaded. For this tutorial, let's try a cyberpunk model from Civit.ai. This one is called Ghost Mix. Save it to your models folder in a subfolder with the model's name, in this case Ghost Mix V2.08. You can find your models folder using the Mandala file menu and then Open Models folder. The model now appears in the Model Manager, but we need to assign a category to it. Set the mode to Diffusion in the combo box and select the model we've just downloaded. Now let's type in a prompt, or select one from the presets. Presets can be added by right-clicking on the prompts. Set the resolution to 2048 by 2048. Set the upscaling mode to Real SRGAN and choose a X4 upscaling model. Choose Dichotomous Image Seg as an alpha generator. This will create an alpha automatically during render. Now let's hit render and wait. Some models might have to be downloaded, but here they are already present. Okay, we've got a nice image. Let's check out the alpha. It's not perfect, so let's fix it by clicking on the brush tool. Manually fix the alpha by painting and pressing Enter to fill in the selection. This looks okay, but as a final touch, we can use the Fix Alpha filter from the menu. Much better. Now let's generate a depth map. Finally, click on Generate 3D Model with Alpha Cut On. It will use RGB, Alpha, and Depth to create a mesh. We now have a 3D, well, more like 2.5D asset that can be relit and used in your scenes. Using the same techniques, let's create a city background. This is nice, but it has a character in it. Let's erase it. Click on the Erase Tool icon and paint over the character. Adjust the brush size by holding the B key. Then adjust the in-painting window size so it fits the selection you just painted. Okay, now let's generate a depth map and a 3D model again. Make sure Alpha Cut is unchecked this time. Using these techniques, you can quickly and easily generate many assets for your concept art, images, and games.